Hello and welcome to Stratford Paddock. My name is Joe, that is Adam McCullough, and this is Uncensored. You're looking oh, the happiest I've ever seen you, Adam. How are you doing? I'm on strike. What do you mean you're on? You can't be on strike. What do you mean you're on strike? Everyone else is, so fuck it. What, when you say everyone else, do you mean Man United players? Is that what you mean? They're, if they're not performing, you're not performing. Is that the rule? That's... I'm Jaden Sancho. <laughs> but being paid I'm well, not, actually more I'm money not apologizing it. I'm not apologizing either no you're not apologizing you're eating you're eating with the reserves aren't you you're not even allowed on the main table at home you've got to eat can't in even take my shorts off around my teammates <laughs> did you see that that was so <laughs> such a bizarre part of the article because he has to train with like kids he can't get changed in front of him so he has to get changed behind like a weird brick wall somewhere that was such a bizarre part of that story wasn't it you know i don't understand yet no i just can't i haven't got it in me well i'll tell you what i'll put it in you i think because i'm what they I've say i've got enough confidence i am in the mud you are yeah, yeah. what, is, what would you say right now they'd McCullough's say mccullough's in the mud <laughs> McCullough's in the mud. Yeah. yeah if you were on twitter It'd be a picture of you and it would say, bro really is in the mud. That's what it'd say, wouldn't it? Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it'd say. But I'm here to, to chirp you up a little bit. It's good because we get to focus on the negatives, but we're coming up with some solutions. This is how to fix Man United. What needs fixing for United to be successful? Because we sat here last season and we thought we're on the way to being right here. Ten Hag's the man, Rashford's back, Bruno's back. All we need is a striker and we'll be, we'll be pumping them out. Now we've got a striker and it, things are worse than ever. So let's start with you know, positions United need to improve. I want to go through the, the starting 11. No, we're not to, doing this yes, again. Yes, we are. We are doing this because we have to assess this every so often. Joe, Goalkeeper, I haven't got it in me anymore. You are, well, just say yes or no then. I've already told you once, you might not have it in you, but I'm here to put it in you because I've got the confidence. <laughs> I've got the credentials to sort you out. Right, goalkeeper. You've Are got a right? long piece of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a, a piping hot piece of confidence and I'm going to slide it right in your negativity socket. Okay? <laughs> let's, do, let's just start with the goalkeeper. Are we okay at the back? <laughs> yeah. Do you like you know, I don't get you. Go on. I like Anana. It would have been 7 0 if it wasn't for Anana, although he tried to give him two goals at once. But what I would say is, we've signed him, yeah, and we've told him to stand on his line. Mm. Like, what the fuck? He like, came out to Haaland that once, didn't he? Close that shot down. But what's the point? Mm. Watch him against City in the Champions League final if you want to do yourself a mischief and watch that back. Or watch him in any game for Inter Milan and then watch him for us. Different person. What do you think that's what's down the point? to? I don't know. Confidence. Like what's the manager? I, I think, style? I think the manager. Yeah, I, I think we've broken him. Yeah. So Onana doesn't look like the player from last season. Let's move on to right back, where we've not even. This was one of the positions where we thought we were going to be weak this uh, this season. Wan Bissaka and Dallo are either of them good enough? Now Wan Bissaka has been injured for most of the season. What do you think of that position? Do we need another player there, or are you kind of happy with Dallo and Wan Bissaka coming back? I don't think Delo's bad, to be honest. Yeah. Um, be nice to have Wan Bissaka back for some games. I don't. I don't think right back's that issue. To be told honest with you. Yeah. I really don't. Okay. Centre back. Out of all the positions, it's we've just that's that's one of the issues that fullbacks just been. We've had no players. Yeah. Centre back. All we've had is Delo. Varane not getting picked for this for the derby. Do you think that was genuinely tactical, or do you think? Uh, I just think Ten Hag's lost the plot. Do you? I seriously think we've just made him crap. He come out and said we can't play the football he wants to play, despite the fact we've signed all the players he wanted us, like he picked to sign and brought in shit players like Anthony and that. Like, why sign them if they can't play the football you want to play? I think at the start of the season he's had one way. To, he's had an idea about how we're going to play. We brought in a new striker, brought in a new goalkeeper. We brought in Mount or whatever. Mm. He wanted Amra back. Try and bring all those players in. Some of them turn up injured. Some of them don't turn up till late on loans and all this kind of stuff. Then you've got everyone injured. So I don't think he could ever play. I don't think the plan was to play like last season. It was to change the whole team up. But then when you've got injuries to, injuries to most of your players, and then I don't know, I just, I just slowly think he's lost his mind as well because 
He's relying on Scott McTominay. I don't know. I don't know what 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 you're doing. He scored two do? goals because he came because he yeah. came on up front against Brentford, not because he came on and controlled the midfield. The guy's useless in midfield. He makes about eight passes a game. I don't understand why we pick him. Pick Christian Eriksen. All right, he's good on the ball, out of possession, useless. You got Hannibal on the bench, who's got some legs, got some energy. Came in, did really well. Mason Mount there. Like, I know in, in defense we've got no players really, but I don't, I don't get the midfield. Like, how how, how is this your midfield? How are you taking Amrabat off at halftime and not McTominay or Eriksen? Mm. Like, how how are you not trying to do something with Hannibal and Mount? You can surely make something work with that on the training pitch. The two good players, yet we yet we're stuck with Scott McTominay playing. And then playing him in Bruno Fernandez's position and pushing Bruno Fernandez out to the right. I just think United have just made him lose his mind. It's weird as well, the the midfield situation, isn't it? Because he knows that Ericsson can only play 45 minutes or whatever because his, his legs go. He did that against Copenhagen. He, he was only willing to play him for that amount of time. But then against City, when it's a bigger game against a more difficult midfield, then he, he, he thought, let's play him for a full 90 in that game. That felt a bit weird to me. Like... You don't mm. think he's got the legs to beat Copenhagen, but you think he's got the legs to beat City. That's, I don't know. It, it, it does all seem weird. Also, he, he, he wanted to get rid of McTominay in the summer. So what's changed there then? Why do you think he was willing to let him go a couple of months ago? Now well, he's he didn't because he rejected over. 30 million for him. But I think the, all the rumours were... I don't know why we didn't him keep Fred. Fred. Why did we keep this guy? I don't know. He's, uh, it's, not even, it's not his fault, but I just don't understand why he's starting. You're going to start him and Ericsson and you've got Maguire behind him. I mean, you see what happened to the last managers that did that. So, do you think we need new midfielders, or do you think he just needs to pick different we've ones? Got from the ones we've got new midfielders. We've got new midfielders. Like, who would you be using? starting? If everyone's fit, who are you starting in midfield? Carby Mayno. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. I'm sick of all of them, bro. Casemiro. Like, you'd think Casemiro is useless mm. after time as well. Just running around like a lunatic, clotheslining people. Do you think like, he's got too I excited? I don't get it. He's enjoying scoring too much, I think. He's getting used to being at the other end of the pitch and he's, he's leaving his position. Mm. We didn't even really get to see Casemiro and Amrabat, like, see if that could do something. No. Casemiro, Mayno, Amrabat and Mayno. But then you got to, you, you've got to just drop Bruno or something or pick him in his preferred position. Or, I don't know. Like you've got to make this midfield work somehow. Hmm. And you've got think, enough there where yeah. you don't need to resort to McTominay and Ericsson. I'm sorry. And people go, oh, we tried Casemiro, Bruno and Mount. It didn't work. What, once? Because I don't yeah. remember us trying that in pre-season. I don't remember us having a sustained period where you try that midfield. No, Casemiro, I'm about Bruno. Casemiro, I'm about Mount. I, I don't know. Just do something that isn't the the Wizard of Oz in midfield. On... One's got no brain, and the other one. <laughs> What's the other one? No heart. That's it, isn't it? No heart. And the other one's just a, a girl with some slippers on. So who's that? Er that's Ericsson, isn't it? With the, with the red slippers on. That's her. And then who's the tin man? Which one's he? No. Tommy has got no brain brain. Yeah. And who's got no heart? Amrabat? Me. This is a bit hard. Yeah, you certainly haven't. Let's move on to the right wing then. A spot where we're set. We're absolutely sorted. One of them isn't playing because he, he's fallen out with the manager. The other one only plays every other week because there's lawsuits going on and he's not very good. We also play Bruno Fernandes out there. We've tried, I think we tried Martial out there for about 20 minutes the other week. What what needs to happen at the, on, on the right wing? Are you satisfied? Do we need new players? What What's going on? Anthony's crap. You think? He's crap. <laughs> I've seen enough. Yeah. I've seen it. I've seen enough. He had more fight in him because your man waved his finger in his eye. Mm. I've never seen him attack a defender. I've never. It's just I'm gonna cut in and I'm gonna shoot. Oh, sound. Sometimes it goes in. Most of the time it don't. The geezer's crap. Eighty million pounds. We spent one hundred and sixty million pounds on McTominay and Anthony. Jesus. On Casemiro and Anthony, do you mean? 
No, uh, Maguire and Anthony. Sorry, oh, Maguire. Yeah. yeah. Did I say McTominay? Yeah. Maguire, McTominay, same thing. McGuire, as people sometimes call him online, it's my favourite. McGuire's got to get dropped. So right wing, we need yeah. a new one, right? Okay. What about up front? Play Palistri or play. I don't but know. Is that, it, it, play Rashford out there. Put, Rashford. put thingy on. Put Marshall on the left. I don't know. Do play Garnacho. I don't know, man. Just do something that isn't Anthony's rolling the ball under his foot like an idiot. Yeah. Centre forward. Hoyland thoughts. Yeah, Hoyland's class, you know. I you like, like Hoyland. Okay. Should have scored against City. Should have took his chance or got a penalty. I don't think it was a penalty against him. I actually think he's doing. He should have had a few goals in a prem. I don't. I don't mind Hoyland at all. But in about two months, we'll drag him to our level. Don't worry about that. Mm. Especially if we start. If he starts feeling that the balls aren't getting played to him and we're not quite finding him, he might start doubting himself. And he seems to be one of those players who's. He's a big confidence player, or certainly has a lot of confidence, but how will he look when he hasn't got that confidence quite as much? If he doesn't score for the next month or so in the league, that'll start eating away at him and we'll have to find out what he's about then. I think that's that's my only worry. I just wanted to get a goal quick, even if it's a shit we one. got Luton coming up, innit? Just play yeah. him against him. Play him against Luton. All right, left-hand side. I mean, then, I mean, three points for Luton at this rate. But <laughs> yeah, but we might, we might lose 3-1. At least Hoyland might score. Hoyland can get the one in a 3-1 loss, yeah. <laughs> uh, on to the left-hand side, Rashford last season. Maybe the, oh, most, I like the, Rashford. the, the safest I'm, player in world football last season. That's his spot. I'm not now getting people talk about dropping back. him. Okay, go on. Why not? All right, maybe he could be dropped. But I still think a lot of the issues that we face is the ball coming through that midfield. Now, there's times when he frustrates us on the ball and he overthinks things and all that. That's yeah. think that's because I think opportunities are so far and so so few and so far between. Maybe he could be dropped. I'm not saying he's played amazingly well. He scored one goal this season or something stupid. Yeah, it's... you know, maybe you could change things up, put Garnacho out there, bring him off the bench. You know, make him feel like he's fighting for his spot. But our issues come from the fact that we don't actually. Right, you know, you know Rashford. People criticize Rashford's the only one creating chances for Hoyland. I know, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you've noticed. Yeah, I have. This. And people are, are people are going, oh, Rashford doesn't know how to play with a striker. Rashford's too greedy. Rashford's this that, and the other. He's assisted all of Hoyland's goals, I think, or certainly two. And of he's them. no, the, the chances he's made. And the for chances, him. That, yeah. Now, I, I don't think Rashford. And I get people. Maybe me. Maybe I, I'm biased for Rashford or whatever. Call me whatever you want. I just. It's like with Bruno, like I think when we play well, he plays well. Mm. And sometimes it, it's not not only he only he not only plays well when we the whole team plays well. Rashford and Bruno have saved us single handedly at times. But I think their problems are a result of the team. They yeah. become a symptom of the problems that we have. Do you get me? So Bruno gets starts acting like a dickhead because the whole team's acting like dickheads. Mm. And we're yeah. losing three 0 and he just thinks, "All right, I'm gonna just kick some twat." It That's seems, what happens to Bruno, if, isn't it? If you were playing for United right now, based on the mood you're in, you I'm would Bruno. be doing the same thing, wouldn't you? You would do the exact yeah. same thing. I'm Anthony coming on and being a knob. Who would you Who would you have kicked from City if you were playing? Now nah, I would have been Hannibal. Remember Hannibal against Liverpool, just coming on and just clamp, <laughs> just battering everyone. Clamp. Yeah, I would have told Haaland. Look, your dad's knees are over there and then did him in the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, let's move on to some young players then because obviously we can't make any transfers between now and January. So if we're going to switch things around, the likes of Maynu, who's been injured all this season This is a team so far, against Newcastle. Yeah, go on then. Altai Bay India. Altai Bay India in goal. First ever, first ever appearance. Yeah, yeah. Alham? Um, you're not actually putting Bay and Deering in goal, are you? Uh, nah, I'm putting Anana in goal. Okay. Have we have we got a fullback this week? Yeah, Dallo, Dallo, Wan Bissaka might be Dallo really Dallo and Regilon. Yep. Varane. Yep. And Lindelof. Oh. Over and Evans. Okay. Sorry, Harry. Cobby was on the bench, wasn't he? 
Yeah, he was. He's, he, he played for the under-19, or the, one of the younger teams as well. Casemiro, Cobby. Yeah. Yes. Mason Mount. Yeah. Ooh. I like that. Garnacho. On the right. Hoyland. Yeah. No, Garnacho on the left. Yeah. Hoyland. Yeah. Go on. He's thinking. It's a difficult one, this, isn't it? Who's playing out there? Who's playing out there? The absolute wilderness that is the right Well, wing. Anthony's not. Okay. He's not. I'll tell you who's not. Yeah, Anthony ain't. He definitely ain't. Yeah. You could maybe play Bruno, but I just feel like, nah. Okay. You want to drop him on Rashford? Dropping your captain, that, that's a big statement. I'm just dropping, I'm dropping everybody, right? Okay. That's what is happening here. Okay. Palistri. Huge. No, 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 no. Okay. No, he's gone Marshall on the left. Garnacho on the right. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Can <laughs> is this going to be one of those games where Marshall can run or is it one where he can't run? Do you mean like every other game he comes on and is our best player? Well, he came like on that? against Bayern Munich and actually sprinted and looked. It was weird watching him actually run really fast. Exactly. And then he comes on against other teams and he just can't turn or run or do anything. Because we've broken him as well, man. Okay, he's broken as well. Who Who is it who's breaking him? Because he's been at the club for seven years. Who, who's Manchester United him? are are a graveyard for everyone where does that come from then because Gary Neville the other day was saying that that Gary Neville said it didn't he that idea the graveyard this the toxicity the fact that no matter who you are you get plugged into the United machine and you get turned into mincemeat is that the Glazers is that the, the, the board What what is that it's everything it's everything isn't it and people look, look I think Eric Ten Hag has gone a bit mad recently and he needs to find himself again. Mm. I'm still firmly behind the bold man. And I really I really want to see what happens when... Uh, this is how bad it's got. I'm clinging to hope this is 25% bullshit means something. Mm. Look at thing. Newcastle. Look, I know it's, it's human rights abuse FC over there. But you know when they changed ownership and they just had that cloud of that mm. twat gone Mike Ashley yeah and it changed like the the direction changes doesn't it yeah you know maybe just Jim Ratcliffe coming in and say yo Eric you're our guy mm. fucking Phil and Grant coming in and sorting out the football side of things all that yeah Phil and Grant Mitchell from EastEnders is that what you mean yeah, Paul Mitchell. Oh, yeah, Paul Mitchell, sorry. Yeah. Billy Mitchell. Peggy Billy, Mitchell. We don't want Billy involved. We don't Why want don't Billy, want Billy involved. involved. He's all right, isn't he? He's mental. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's the, he, honey, yeah. Honey, honey sent him mad, didn't she? He's a bit narrow, isn't he? The other ones are really stocky. He's really sort of narrow and wiry. Okay, we'll get Paul and yeah. Grant in. Phil Billy Grant. Mitchell's the only, only Mitchell you'll ever see get bullied. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's the one we'd end up with, though, isn't it? We'd try and get Paul Mitchell <laughs> and we'd end up with Billy Mitchell. and he's We'd just give him bullied. the manager's job. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that's a good point, though. The, the f People forget that like the atmosphere and the feeling of being in a workplace does change results, even without having to change the tactics or whatever. Like, Newcastle's a perfect example. Like, if it just changed... I think we're a bit to blame, man. United fans are just depressed at the moment. Yeah, aren't that, they? there is that. I do think we're United are in a unique. I think that comes across. We've got the expectation of winning trophies every season, but we've, we're actually a team that probably ain't good enough to do it. Like we aren't good enough now to challenge the, the mud, league man. in two years. I know, but we should be. But we're not. We well, at least we should that. be showing that we're gonna be. Yeah. Like, what the fuck's happened here, man? How is it we've come? Yeah, and it's Maguire, Evans, McTominay, and Ericsson, and just everyone hates Rashford again and Bruno. Like, how have we got here? It's back to twenty twenty two all over again, isn't it? Or twenty twenty one, whatever it was. The disaster year. I think look, when Solskjaer yeah. came in at United as well, you saw that massive uplift. Even though he's not a better manager than Jose Mourinho, no one would say he is. 
Eve, just getting rid of Jose. No, nah, I'm not changing Solskjaer manager. In. I'm, I'm no, nah, but I'm saying I'm, 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 I'm comparing that to getting in a new I'm owner, done. a new director of football, and a new, a a new vision. That could be the same thing. Just to change. I'm just going to travel the world playing polka. Is that what you are now? Just a card wheel. If we sack Ten Hag, I'm done. Player. You know, I'm, I'm done. I don't care who we bring in. Nah, Ten Hag. If it, Ten Hag can't do it, no one can. Do you think he can? Because I'm scared if I say no, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to he's got to be able to do it because otherwise we're absolutely poor i do think he can do it i genuinely do think he can do it tenag i think we've got to you know what it storm. is yeah this is his first i know we had bad results last season you know what it, you know what scares me bro go on when he says oh i can't play football i can't play that football with this team it's like bro you had dusan tadic and daily blind you know but they're good on the ball and Anthony, and Lissandro yeah. Martinez, and Anana. Yeah. But we ain't got, we ain't got Lissandro Martinez, have we? Bring Donny uh, van der Beek back. And the Anthony we've got is one that's <laughs> gone backwards because he's got this. He's a knob. I don't know who he stuff thinks he is hanging either. over his head. Nah, that's nothing to do with it. He was he's crap before not then. Helping. No, I know, but he's gone backwards. He has gone backwards. Toward the end of last season, those games against Everton and Chelsea, and he hasn't gone backwards. To... Sideways. I think he has. I th no, I think, he's, him. I think he's gone backwards. Sideways, sideways, sideways. He does go sideways. He cuts, it, cuts He's gone sideways, rolling the ball under his foot. <laughs> I, I think he's. Man. I think it's more to it than that. He, who doesn't think he is? You know who's better than him? Gabriel Obertan. No. Yes, yeah. you've gone, Adam. You've lost it. Who else is better than him? Was Dan James better than him? That's a genuine question. Dan James is better than him. I, I, I've never longed for Dan James to be back at Man United. <laughs> Till now. You want overtime back. You want... That is, that is absolute madness. I want Bebe back. Bebe scored a, a goal. I think he scored two last-minute goals in his last two games. Bebe's good. Exactly. Um, This, this goes without saying Nani was better than him. Yeah, well, Nani was. Nani would a very be our player. best player. Uh, it, yeah, th so far this season he would. Yeah. Um, Nani was unbelievable. Nani got th like thirty odd assists in his first hundred Premier League games, which I think. Put, and remember, like midfielders like Nicky Butt that we used to just players. take for granted. Yeah. Oh, so good, so good. Yeah. Bosses this midfielder. Today's show is sponsored by Manscaped and using our code PADDOCK20, you can get 20% off and free shipping. Now, Adam, there's a reason why 9 million men trust Manscaped to look after their crown many jewels, men. isn't there? Many, 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 many men. Yep. What? Yeah, because I love it. Manscaped's yeah. amazing, man. It's the best. It is yeah. the best. Yeah. Sort out. What, 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 what were we saying around this time of year? Treat mm. your scrotum with some decorum this autumn. Oh, that's lovely. They wanted fresh ball four, but we've got our own and it's better. Yeah. And you can get 20% <clears> off <throat> and free shipping and keep your nuts cool as the summer breeze or even fall breeze, winter breeze, autumn breeze, whatever it is, this winter with Manscaped. So here's the thing. They've got their products. They've got the individual bits. You can go on there. Just click on the link, first of all, and be on the site where you can hear us in the background. Click on it and listen to us. <laughs> They've got their individual products. You've got the lawnmower. You've got this, this, this. But there's also the Performance Package 4.0. Everything you need, your one-stop shop to get all of your products. In there is the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. Talk to us about the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Adam. Yeah, no nick ten technology, yeah? Anti yeah. skin nick safe technology. Skin safe technology, yeah? yeah? Not cutting your balls in the shower anymore, yeah? You get your shed as well. Don't forget about that. Good little, nice little... Packaging, little travel for bag. everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little travel bag piece. Also on the lawnmower 4.0, you have a uh, multifunctional on/off mm -hmm. switch. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you can you know make sure it's not switching on in your bag yeah. at the airport. Bit awkward that. Yeah, it's also it? got a, a 7,000 rpm motor. It's got a light, so you can get into those <laughs> difficult to see Faster areas. Faster than my car, that. Yeah, 7,000 RPM. You'd, you'd kill for a 7,000 RPM motor in your car. There's all sorts in there. There's also the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. We have deodorant for our armpits, and yet one of the other 
you know, smell zones that, let's be honest, ideally, people are going to be putting their face near. We don't even put deodorant on it. That's why Manscaped is ahead of the game. They make these things that sort you out. You also get, Adam said before, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Boxers when you get the performance package. Was it Ronan Keaton in Smell Zero. Zone? Smell Zone? Yeah, he was. He was, actually, yeah. He was, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Boy Zone. Boy Zone. Call it what you want. He loves Manscaped as well. Well, I don't know if legally we can say that, but certainly he would well, if he uh, tried he, them. He said he, he, every boys should have their own. Interesting. Very, very interesting sentence there. Thank you again to Manscaped for sponsoring the <laughs> show. And again, use the code PADDOCK20 at checkout for 20% off and free shipping. The link is in the description. Just click it, go and have a look, sort it out. And also, we're entering that Christmas period. If you want to get one for yourself, look after yourself. But also, think about Christmas gifts. These are perfect. Oh, yeah. Get it sorted early with manscaped.com. What can we do? Because you don't want to get rid of the manager. Fuck you off. We don't think that, the, you know, you think that there's, there's, there's people I think, that can like, work. How does I think it work? the world needs revolution at the moment. And I think right. also Manchester United needs a revolution. So I think if they sack him, we just riot and take control yeah. ourselves. Okay. Be like January the 6th at the Capitol. I'll be in the boardroom with one of them horn hats on. <laughs> you'll be sat, you'll be parked in Avram Gordon's parking space. Really just sticking it to the man. Some of the most minimal stuff you can do. Hang on a sec, he's sat in one of the corporate chairs. That's plush leather. He's not allowed to sit there. Like really low yeah, level stuff. Just let the lunatics take over the asylum, I think. Okay, that doesn't necessarily seem likely or helpful, if I'm, if we'll, I'm brutally we'll honest. instate Stephen Housen as manager. Stephen Housen is interim Jesus. and permanent manager. And um, CEO. Yeah, Stephen Housen insists and that his job of managing football. Manchester United will not affect his work and at Stratford Paddock FC. And the senior manager. Yeah, you go on the website and it's all just pictures of Steve wearing different outfits <laughs> for all of the different roles. Different AI um, profile pictures of yeah, Steve. Yeah, like those ones, like, the sort of like the school yearbook. <laughs> ones him in yeah. sort of full army regalia. Ones him dressed as a clown. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Ones him with the Avram yeah. Glazer ponytail and bald top. Yeah, Ponytail, baldy face. Ponytail, baldy face. I think that works. I do think that works. Do yeah. right. Is is a different question. Not do you think Ten Hag can turn it around. Not do you back him. No, this. Just based on what you know of Man United, what you know of football generally, do you think he will turn it around? Not do you want him to. Do you still back yeah. him? Do, the, do you? I think don't he think actually this is will? the end. You don't. This isn't the end of Ten Hag. <sighs> he will rise again. I don't know, you know. After this revolution happens, I mean. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, that happens Steve first. In. <laughs> I just don't know. Then we uh, bring Ten Hag back. What examples have we got in that, recent that years? That statement did that worry happened? me, you know. That statement worried me, man. Yeah, we can't. He's like a broken like man. Ours. My one hope. Again, you know me. Mm -hmm. I'm an optimist. Yeah. So, yeah, Despite you know, what I've been saying today. Yeah, you are, yeah. Just, you know, we need to see change. Mm. Just hopefully this... How can 25% change anything? See, there I am being a realist again. Mm. But, but if they can... Yeah. But almost... And then I, just go on. get behind him. Get behind him, man. I'm behind him. You know what? Fuck this. I'm going down with this shit. With Ten Hag's a man. Ten, Ten Hag wins. That's it. I'm going to tell you how many games are winning now. Go on then. Have you got, you've got the little tattooed on your genitals, haven't you? That's why you're looking down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a, he's got a timeline. Unfortunately, because of size limitations, it does run out at the end of April. But I'll get I have to bloody up, up like... a bit so I can read all the fixtures. Uh, uh, yeah, that's... They're all really small, like when you draw a face on a balloon. And then when it's inflated, you can see it properly. <laughs> Right, I'll get them up on it. So we beat you... Newcastle on penalties. Oh. It's going to be a long I said night that. at Old Trafford. That was genuinely my prediction in the preview yesterday. We beat Newcastle on penalties. Nil-nil, we win on pens. Um, okay. Fulham. We beat Fulham. Okay. Guess what? If you're at Craven Cottage on a... Uh, do you still call it that? On Saturday? Yeah. Uh, I, will, I will be in Fulham's match day programme. What? Why? Yeah. Yeah. What, what, no, 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 not yeah. Why? Why are you in Fulham? Why are you in any matchday program, let alone Fulham's? 
Because they wanted to speak to me, innit? Cause I'm about what? Fan. About I, United? Sent them a picture of like us and that. Who have you got as the ghostwriter? Because obviously you're not writing it. I think they would have corrected a lot of what I've uh, written it in my voice. <laughs> took all the swearing <laughs> out. Took, took the so references a lot of, to that, January the 6th You know what I did? I made, I made about four references to the Glazers. Yeah, and I'm like, gone. you have to try and leave these in. Yeah. I, think... I made vague ones like the owners. Yeah. And then I made like explicit ones like the fucking Glazers. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to read it. It's just going to be a picture of you and it's just going to say Adam McCullough, 36. And that's all it's going to say. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm old How enough. many years are you putting on me there, man? Well, Chill. I'm, I'm old, are you? The internet are going to be... I'm not 36. What are you, 33? Yeah. 34. 34. 33. Right, so you, you said very, 33. You, you said very, very late I was going to say 36, though. Well, yeah, yeah, late right. 20s. Yeah, yeah, late 20s. Just really late 20s. Like, you've completely slept yeah. through your alarm. That's how late in his 20s he is. <laughs> so, right, so we beat um, Fulham. Next. Right, so we beat him, Fulham. Okay. Um, Copenhagen away. Copenhagen beat them. Yeah. Jesus. Luton at home. You already said we lose that one, but that's but that, okay. Yeah, we win that one. Okay. Uh, Everton away, win that one. Yeah. Galatasaray, get out the way. Draw. Draw there. Welcome Newcastle away, we draw there. Yep. Beat Chelsea, beat Bournemouth, beat yep. Bayern Munich to go through <laughs> in the Champions League. Yeah. Liverpool away, it's a stinker. I think something might happen to Liverpool away around that time. <laughs> they got Europa League, haven't they? The day before, something like that. Yeah, something so, might happen I think to Liverpool. Could, couple, could get a couple injuries, things yeah. like that. Could happen. Yeah. And then United go there and draw. <laughs> yeah, take a draw there. Not lost in a while. Where's West Ham away? Get out the way. We beat them. Yeah, they just lost against Everton, mate. Okay, you're gonna take us to the end of the you, year. Is it? Are you doing the full season? Here? You you do the maths. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's not Man United two. Villa. I can't help but think he's gonna do beat to the them. end of the season. Yeah. Beat them. Forest away. Beat them. That's yeah. so. What's that? We ain't, I think that... we ain't we ain't losing now. For this. For the rest of 2023 that is incredible isn't it <laughs> to say we've lost half the games we've played so far this season that snap where does that snap come from do we get the proper casemiro back is it the in reinvention of kobe Mainu? is it a new sporting director like you said a wave is it a culmination of things because for that to happen something has to change because what we're seeing now it ain't going to do that so what is it What happened is <laughs> we're losing against Newcastle, yeah. Right. Okay. So that that's changed because we'd won at the start of this. No, we so won. We... We're losing. We're losing. Oh, we are losing. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Like two nil half time here. Oh no. Old Trafford's depressed. Mm. I'm depressed. I'm ready to end it. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're just putting. We your managed hat with to get the horns it. Horns on, aren't you? That. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just ready put... to. To invade the capital. Yeah, you're just you're yeah. just talking up the inside of your hat so you can yeah. squeeze it over your head. What is it? I'll be the what is he called himself? Um capital The Shaman. Right, uh, Shaman. Yeah. Shaman Shaman. I'm whatever. Shaman. The QAnon Shaman. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the MUFC Shaman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why have I just Googled that? <laughs> Um, You're the Q Park yeah, so shaman because that's where you park your car on the way to Old Trafford. Yeah, uh, no. Okay. So we're two 0 down um, against Newcastle at half time. Yeah. Then we come back to draw and win on penalties. Beautiful. But like, it's such a joyful day that it's a lot of good vibes and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And in the second half, we played this team yeah. that we never expected us to play. It's like uh... a. Three, four, one, two type style formation thing. Yeah. Hoyland Rashford up top. You got Bruno behind them. You got Regron Dallo. Copy Mainu and backs. yeah, just you know, load of that stuff. And then you beat them, and then we use that formation for the rest of the season. We never look back. Isn't that similar to the story of Antonio Conte at Chelsea in 2017? When he won the league. Yeah. 
they they started the league not they started sort of not very well, didn't they? Was it Arsenal they lost to? And then they changed to like a three at the back. Excuse me, I'm getting emotional just thinking about it. And then they <laughs> and then they won like twenty of the next twenty five games or something ridiculous. And then they won the league. Maybe we're gonna do that. Mm. Too late to win the league, isn't it? But top four? No, it's never too late. No. I think City lost five games last season in the league. How many have we lost now? Five. Yeah. Let me have a look, actually. I don't think they did lose that many games last season. They lost two lose against... Five. They lost five. They lost five. They lost one against us, two against yeah. Brentford, and two against Spurs. Oh, yeah. There you go. There's five. So we. So if we win most of the rest of our games, we, we've won the league. Yeah. Okay, great. Just back to, before we go, just on the Jim Ratcliffe situation. Oh, I reckon... Fuck him as well. I reckon the Glazers will give him Sick some power, it. though. I do think they will give him some power. They're pesky little sods, aren't they? Yeah. You've but sold 25% of your club and you're going to get some geezers coming and do all the work. That's what I mean. It sounds so Glazers. They get to put all the blame on him when things go wrong. They get to actually hopefully benefit from the fact but that what's... he's done this a little bit before, get his men in, and then they get to ride the success if we start winning. It's, it's you know, exactly what they do. You know, because I've been so dead inside. I haven't really been reading up on stuff and that. Go on. Is there anything in this deal that prevents the Glazers from going, actually, we're not going to sell any more to you? We don't know. The, 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 the fine details haven't been worked out yet. So that's the thing everyone's looking for. Is it obligation to buy, option to buy, whatever? Um, we don't know yet. So there's a chance that there is, but mm -hmm. also there's a good chance that there'll be something like once the shares hit X amount, then the Glazers have to sell them. And once they hit X amount the other way, then Ratcliffe has to buy them. Something like that might be put in there, which Sweet. would be helpful. Yeah. What are you doing this week? Uh, I think I think we're just gonna have to plan that uprising in the capital. That's what you do for the rest of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think people got really oh. hurt during that actually. So should we do it? Uh, no one's gonna like... get hurt. No okay. One's gonna get yeah, hurt. Just to clarify, we're gonna. I'm gonna instate myself as director of football, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Ten Hag's job safe. He's manager. Yep. Steve's the board, just the board generally. Steve's the whole board. Steve's there to just do people's headings and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, that makes sense. Enforcer. Yeah, what's Jay doing? Jay. Presumably he gets a role. He can, he's now just in charge of MUTV. Yeah. So Jay yeah, yeah. is the face of propaganda. Yeah, I love that. And and e-commerce. He can have e-commerce. And, well. and e-commerce. He <laughs> he's controlling that. And he's making the thumbnails. He's doing everything in check. Yeah, yeah. He's like the theme tune, the theme tune. And w could I be so bold to ask for a role as well in this? You've got a role. Yeah, you've got a role guaranteed in there. What's that then? What, what's you know, my role? So you're the director of football. Steve's the enforcer. Jay's in charge of MUTV and e-commerce. What's my role? You are... John Myrtle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to like go home to his wife and kids pretending to be yeah. him after the real John yeah. Myrtle has gone missing. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Honey, I'm me. Although we said no one got hurt, we did have to make someone just disappear. Into yeah, the he woods hasn't got hurt, a bit. but he's just, he lives on an island. Not hurt, he he's still live a, on. He's just, yeah, he's just in a different house. Yeah, he lives in the Bahamas now. He so lives now you have to pretend to be him. Yeah, yeah he's buzzing. He loves it. Was it? Yeah, loves the life there. Okay. So I'm Murtar through and through. Okay, that works. <laughs> Joe Murta. Great. What are you doing for the rest of the week? It's only Tuesday. You must have some big plans. No, I'm in the today. mud, mate. What do you mean you're, you're in the mud? Yeah, you're not going to have Halloween? Nah, Halloween's a pagan ritual. You're not celebrating Halloween at your house? John, as you've kindly told the audience today, I'm 34 years old, bro. So? Chocolates doesn't what, have a what, timeline. What do you want me to do? What? what it's not what about. You, right, what do you I'm not suggest saying I you should do? go trick or treating. What if someone knocks on your door? That's what I'm asking. Oh what nah, do you do? get fucked. <laughs> We're just saying America. Well, no, but people do trick or treating. And in you know this. what they're doing these in in my kind of areas? They put fireworks through your door, and that, that's what happens on Halloween. <laughs> so you do you just taping the taping the the letterbox shut and going to bed? Is that your night? Is it? I'm standing by the window waiting for one of them to come by the door and then or I jump out. So grumpy, isn't it? Say, so grumpy. Fuck off. No. Pagan ritual. Fuck off.
what you're doing is you're just firing fireworks from inside into, in, this is into why, the street. Why do you think the world's such a mental place? Because every year we get together on a day like this and dress as a devil. Mm. It's, it's, it's one step away from the purge, isn't it, really? It is. It's, it's why the world's fucked. Mm. So you're not celebrating that. Or even started you, Halloween. You do support nah, the so I devils. would if I had something to do. Mm. If you had a kid, right. would you take it to trick or treat? Oh, yeah. Would you? Be cute and that, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be cute, yeah. <laughs> that would be cute. Dress it up but again, in my area, people John don't do Murtel stuff like that. Around. I'm going to dress my kids as to... John Murtaugh and Richard Arnold and take them to I need to move to a rich area where, like, you know, people do them kind of things. Yeah, like full size Snickers and stuff. You get, and you stuff. get razor blades in an apple or something like that. <laughs> don't put it in an apple, though, because no kids eat in an apple, are they? Put razor blades yeah. in a Mars bar. Do you know what I mean? It's obvious. Oh. Don't do that. Don't ever, no one do that. No one ever did that, though. That's just a, that's a myth, isn't it? No one ever actually did that. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, you know how you get fake Facebook posts nowadays that get shared around on WhatsApp and that? Yeah. Wait, talking about that. Go on. Someone used my picture. Oh, yeah. And my name with a fake phone number and messaged Rory and Elliot today asking them, from what the did club? they ask him? Yeah. What but they've they only message? messaged them. Like, they haven't messaged my mom. <laughs> what, or is she you. on the club? Is that... Wait, is Boovy your mom? No, but, like... No, this means that... Oh. You know, they... They know them. Like, they've they haven't got... got all my contacts right. Oh, they've got... Okay. They've got Some the contacts Some people from of, the clubby. And they said, Hi, Elliot. Hope you're doing well, mate, first of all. You'd never say that. That's Very not selfish. me. No, you don't. No, you I don't, don't say hi. People's feelings. I say yo. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> the second bit is: Do you know any Chinese translator <laughs> that could help me to translate some sensitive documents? <laughs> and they sent this to Rory and to Elliot. What do you think the sensitive documents are? Do you think? And also, do you think they're more sensitive? I know than what the, I can do. The fiction was written. On I your can genitals. give this number out to everyone, right? So everyone can abuse them. Is that yeah. okay? Is that against the law? They're using my face and my name. I don't know what the legalities of this are. I'm doing it. You're doxing so them. So everybody. Oh my god, this is real. Is I'm this doxing. Happening? This can't be happening. I'm doxing I don't, me. I don't like this. No, but what someone's made a number? fake me. I'm scared. Run it past me quick. Is it my, Is it me? Did I do someone's it? Someone's made a fake me. So I'm allowed, and, right? Because I don't know. I'm giving okay. my number out to the world, really. Okay, right? yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So give us your number then. Yeah. Is this all right? Yeah, know. it's right. Off call. It's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Help. Right, right. Okay. okay. All right. We're not going to read it out. We'll accidentally show it out on screen. Should we go? Have you Googled the number? No, I'll Google it. Google it quick, just in case. Or put it into your phone book in case it's someone you know. No, because then they'll be in my book. Oh, yeah. What well, if that's all they need? Maybe that is all they need. These hackers, you never know what's going on, do you? I want to know what this sensitive document is. Anyway, you're busy getting scared. You're going to message them and ask. <laughs> Did you ever get hold of that Chinese uh, translator, mate? Could do with one. That's what I'm going to message him. Um, I reckon... Wait. Oh, no. Wait, what's, what's oh coming up? Oh, my God, up? it's happening live. What is it? Who is it? There's loads it's, of different things coming up. It's John Murta. He's caught wind of the insurrection, hasn't he? Oh, God. Who is it? No, like, the first one is Ofcom, wholesale mobile voice call termination. Okay. Second one is... Appendix 1C, house completion, starts and under construction, 1989. That's scary. That's yeah, What's going man. on? This is, the true, this is the true Halloween of it all. This is, this is genuinely what Halloween's all about. You, you think you're not celebrating it, but you've been contacted by a spooky ghoul who's pretending to be you. It, couldn't be, it doesn't get more Halloween than this, Adam. Weird, isn't it? It is weird. Run it backwards. Should I message him? And say, who the fuck are you? Yeah, go on, message him now and see if they reply before we end the podcast. Nah, I'm not I'm not contacting them from my phone in case they get into my phone. <laughs> That's just not possible, is it? It's possible, it's possible. Well, Sends me know. a link that I accidentally click because oh, it yeah. says, do not click me. Then you'll go, you're not <laughs> telling me what to do. That was the most Homer Simpson thing ever. Well... <laughs> You're not telling me what to do. Click, and your whole house just gets invaded instantly. Yeah. 
Right, okay, I think that's enough. Let us know if they do reply, and we'll put it in the comments of this I'm video. What I'm messaging happened. them. Yeah, ever. you are. Let, also, he's read the number out. If you know who it is, um, do let us know. But it's probably just someone who's set do, up a Are we going to delete that? that? Yeah, number? probably going to delete that out. I'd have thought. Can't leave that in, can we? Is that allowed? I don't. I don't know. But they're pretending to be me. Yeah. So they, they threw the first. They cast the first stone, didn't they? And you know what's mad? I've had my phone number forever. Have you? What, like twenty like, years or whatever? Like my dad got like my dad got me this phone when like in school. Mm. So we're looking twenty that. years plus. And you've never been it's never been publicly shamed. No one's ever put it online. Oh Gaz did once. The idiot. Did He's make... an idiot. What we doing what? <laughs> This was back in the days when we both probably had like a thousand followers each, so it weren't too bad. Right. But he like tweeted a screenshot of a message I sent him. And just left my number in there. That is ridiculous. <laughs> and yet you've still managed to keep hold of it until now, until you found out that someone's hacked. Yeah, into I will you. out. I will. I will just. I don't. I've got time for all these people. That, if you want to prank me, cool. Prank you back. <laughs> You prank. If you prank Adam, you're getting pranked back. Right, that's going to be all from us. Thank you again to Manscaped for sponsoring the show. Make sure you click the link in the description and use the discount code in the <clears> description <throat> as well. Thank you, Adam, for coming on. So you seem a bit more chipper now than you did at the start. Do you want to thank me for that at all? No, it's because of the insurrection. Okay. Well, thank you to the insurrection. And thank you for joining us at home. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in a bit.